Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a, a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. Weekly tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. Oops. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Gemini, that is going to be the Four of uh, Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome here throughout the week, that is going to be the Four of Cups. The third card represents the positive aspect of the week for you, we do have the Nine of Cups. And the last one which uh, stands for the Guidance, that uh, Taro is offering for you. This is going to be the, the Emperor card. All right, so uh, topic of the week, Four of Pentacles here is going to be catalyzed uh, by the Eight of Cups. So we do have a passive friends in this position. And it looks like that this week is going to kind of grasp on couple of things or is going to address couple of things. Now, the first one and the most important one is going to be that the week, it will revolve all around you stabilizing yourself, rather like a, how can I describe it, taking on more defensive measure, I would say, um, in an attempt to consolidate your position, uh, positions, excuse me, so you can ensure yourself a more stable and secure future. And what I'm trying to say here is that this is to be the week where you have to do or you will going to do the necessary things to make your relationship long lasting, to make your business long lasting, all right, to make your career long lasting and etc, etc. Now that thing is going to involve, however, you letting, letting go of a certain tasks and certain endeavors that are to appear only a, a weight to you, a tasks that are appearing as a um, uh, as an unnecessary slog, unnecessary toil that only consumes resources and produce nothing that you can use and you can capitalize on so to ensure, you know, either your longevity into your relationship or longevity into your business as well. That being said, uh, <clears throat> It will require the whole situation here for what it seems is going to require somewhat a mental strength because when one is emotionally attached to certain tasks and to certain endeavors, it's very difficult to let go of. But how you are to recognize them, it is that they simply have taken way too much time, you know, to develop 
and no matter how much you throw in them they don't produce any results so what those two cards here are pointing is that sometimes it's better to let go of uh, a futile attempts and efforts in order to make a, a room for better perspectives to come further into the future if you will to a um, how can I say it, to free up some resources that you can invest into more productive grounds. Uh, the next card is going to be in regards to the challenge here, and we do have the Four of Cups, is going to be catalyzed by the Lover's card. We do have a passive neutrals into this uh, particular position. And couple of challenges is what we do have. It is the uh, one of the challenge. Well, the biggest challenge here obviously is going to be the boredom. What I mean is that what you will have to do and what you need to work on so you can ensure a secure future for your career, you know, for your relationship, it may be a bit boring to you. I mean, it's something that you already done and you have to repeat it this time. So we're talking about a repent. Uh, rep repeatance here for throughout the week there are to be those kind of you know uh, small enterprises that are coming around that are flying by with the flow and if not grasp and seize they will just you know fly by and go by with the flow once again and uh, it will take an enormous um not enormous but let's say a big mental strength for you to focus on uh on your current tasks instead of you know separating your resources as time as effort attention as well if we're talking about relationship the attention is going to be very very important that you need to attend to your partner you need to attend to your person of interest and so on and so forth and here you need to attend to your relationships very important and i'm not talking only about a um personal relationships but as well a business relationships because these two cards here are pointing that even though at right now you may feel that you know you kind of like establish a good relationship good is not good enough it needs to have a, a harmony in it okay so that is your goal that is your aim and uh, the other challenge that you are to face, it has something to do with decision making, that there are to be some temptations that you are going to face throughout the week and you need to decide in favor of what you have to do, as we said, instead of what you want to do. So it's very important here to have the mental strength to discern what you need instead of what you want. Okay. So the uh, positive aspect is going to be the Nine of Cups and this card is going to be catalyzed by the Queen of Wands. We do have a passive enemies into this particular position and it does resemble again what you want against what you need. And as soon as you start performing into the aspect of what you need, that is going to make your life feel much more fulfilled than going for what you want. For reason being, it is that once you start, uh, how can I say it, once you start manifesting what you need, you're going to see that this is exactly what you wanted. So it's kind of like changing into perspective here. But these two cards, uh, well, basically what those two cards are pointing in a positive aspect is that you are going to redefine your human nature in a sense of that um, changing a certain priorities, you know, so you can transform the short term happiness of spending a quality time with your husband or a wife or a, a striking a good deal with uh, certain customers or making good negotiations with your supervisors and with your bosses into a long lasting benefits, right? Like, I don't know, like making better deals further into the future or um, securing more clients and so on and so forth. It's very important to see, you know, what the situation needs once again, instead of what you want. Important thing. Another thing with these, uh, with these two cards, it is that the week is going to be quite easy on you when it comes to a performance. It does look like that not much 
um, responsibilities is it is what you will need to take so you have done the the, the 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 difficult part back in the days and now only thing that needs to be done here for what it seems it is only a tendency okay you need to just attend to it and the thing is going to almost manifest itself on its own accord i mean relationship you know i mean career and so on and so forth it just requires your attention and your time not that much of a money but if you are um, wondering about money obviously the four of pentacles it's a very good card it does point to certain wealth so uh, you can expect that you know you're gonna have a monetary increase throughout this uh, week or at the very least you will be able to face your expenses no problems whatsoever and finally we do have the guidance card which is the emperor and is going to be catalyzed by the three of pentacles so we do have a active neutrals and uh, it's pretty clear with these two cards so you need to breed confidence okay you need to whenever you attend to whenever uh, what you have to do it is in front of you and you start performing into it people should not see you hesitant people should not see you apprehensive toward it all right people should see you as someone who knows what what is doing people should see you as a reliable and very stable individual very stable personality okay and uh it's that's the thing here guys that whatever you do and whomever you are chasing let's say uh you need to show a capability to create structure in whatever endeavor it is uh, ahead of you uh, say you know you kind of like date with someone and you want that thing to develop any further well that is the week where you have to do what it is needed in order to do it to to transform this dating into a, a more deeper relationship you know to deeper commitment but as well you need to show to this person that you are reliable you know you are stable and you know what structure is so it's not going to be just a relationship that no one knows where the thing is going but you do have a plans for a the distant future and as you show that this will make the transitions and the ups and downs in general that the whole thing has either business marriage you know relationship you name it to be it will be they will be able the ups and downs i mean will be able to and the transitions will be able to be faced with much more ease than before uh and uh, as well that will allow you also to have some you know spare time for yourself so that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 18th to November 24th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Till then, bye.